oil could save any nation, then certainly Venezuela would be that nation. However, the desperate economic decline in Venezuela, the nation with the world's largest oil wealth beneath the ground, is a warning to Nigeria. We must look beyond oil or we are at risk of experiencing the same fate. My people, consider that nations like the United States and the United Kingdom, who used to buy Nigeria's oil, no longer buy our oil. As a matter of fact, America now plans to sell her own oil. In other words, our buyers are now our competitors. Currently, royalties from oil account for 90% of total government spending. Many people have said that that means without oil, Nigeria could not function. Perhaps the thinking in itself is the problem. Let us take the case of Anambra State and make it a case study of how we could possibly get out from the oil boom and bust cycle. Could possibly get out from the oil boom and bust cycle. Anambra is not an oil producing state and does not have oil in commercial quantity, yet it does not take loans or owe worker salary. According to the United Nations, Anambra has one of the lowest poverty rates in Nigeria at 11.2%, which places her ahead of 33 states. Anambra and other southeastern states lagged in education and had poor boy-child school enrollment. But today, Anambra leads the nation in WASC results. For the past three years, Anambra has had over 60% pass rates in the West African Senior School Certificate Examination. They have made the best improvements in education in the whole nation and the state government even supports private schools financially. But look at these states that thrive by depending solely on federal allocation. They are broke, cannot pay salaries, and are so debt-ridden, banks will not lend them any more money. Worst of all is that these states are performing woefully in education. There is something to be learned from Anambra. Is it their policy? Is it their budgeting practice? Is it their sense of community? Whatever it is, it is working.